Welcome to RetroPint. Today I'm going to show you how to add a library image for your unknown cartridges, such as a flash card like the Summer Card 64. The first thing we're going to do is insert it into our console. And what you'll see is it adds an entry here called unknown cartridge with not a lot of information. But what we have done is we've added an entry onto the memory card in the library for this cartridge. So what we're going to do is look at the contents of the memory card on our computer. And we should be able to get the CRC number for this cartridge. It becomes a little confusing if you've inserted multiple cartridges or maybe your cartridge wasn't detected properly and it showed up as unknown cartridge because it creates an entry for each of those. So what I did with my memory card is I loaded it on my computer first deleted all of the entries for unknown cartridge and then i put it back into the analog put my cartridge in so now i'm going to go there and see only one entry and that's definitely going to be for this cartridge because it's the only one that i've done so let's switch over now to the desktop okay now we're on our pc and before we get started i want to make sure i credit the appropriate people for the information that i'm going to share this user on reddit fan one 48 created this website and it's fundamentally the tool we're going to use to edit the images file for the analog 3d uh, this is the reddit post where they posted that link uh, some other links that we're going to encounter are uh, this one here is a labels file that just has the summer cart 64 and the everdrive x7 images already inserted if you want to do it the easy way that's the link and i found that as a comment on this Reddit post here. These are the links that we're going to be using during the video. And I'm going to go over each of the steps. Now, if you don't care about adding images for other cartridges, for reproduction car cartridges, and all you care about is just having an image for your Summer Cart 64 or your EverDrive X7, you can skip steps one, two, and three and go straight to step four after downloading the labels DB file at this location. These links will all be in the description of the video. So if that's all you care about, you can download this labels.db file and then skip to step four. So let's start with step one, and that is acquiring the labels DB file. If you don't have one yet, you can follow my tutorial video here to get one or you can download the one that has everything preloaded and then you don't have to worry about it here it is but if you do have one on your memory card and you want to edit it you want to add more to it you want to add images for your reproduction cartridges or anything that says unknown cartridge then we need to download this file from the memory card of the analog 3d so go ahead and make sure your console's off take the memory card out connect it to your pc and that's what I have right here. This is the memory card from my analog 3D. And what we want to do is go to the library and 64 images folder. And there's labels.db. And we want to put it somewhere on our computer where we will be able to find it shortly. So I'm going to stick it in this folder right here. Okay, so mine's copied now onto this local directory. I'm going to remember that. And that looks like it. So let's move on to step two. So for step two, we're going to need a PNG file that is the actual image you want to appear on the cartridge in the analog 3D interface. So it wants one that is 74 by 86 in pixels. If you have one that's a different size, it will get resized down to this. So that's okay. Uh, you can use any image that you want. This is good for if you're putting an image onto a reproduction cartridge or something else that isn't uh, isn't one of the ones I'm going to show here. I'm going to specifically focus on the Summer Cart 64 for this video, and I have uploaded uh, an, an, um, a label here. It looks like this. So that's the image that we're going to use. You uh, right click, save image as, if you want to use this one. I already have it here, but whatever. We'll just use this one with the funky name. Perfect, save that. And I'll remember where that is for later. Now for step three. The goal of this step is to get the cartridge signature 
for the cartridge that is the unknown cartridge we want to change the label for. Uh, looking online, it seems that the Summer Cart 64 usually has this CRC number, and the EverDrive 64X7 usually has this CRC number. I don't know if this is true 100% of the time, but I've seen multiple references to these, but we're going to do it the manual way to confirm it. And you can do it for your other reproduction cartridges too. There's going to be different every time. So we're going back to the memory card from the Analog 3D, which for me is on the G drive. And we're going to go to Library N64 Games. And here we see all of the games that I've inserted into my console. And you'll see there's a number after the name of the game. So what we're interested in is Unknown Cartridge, FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
Uh, feel free to back it up before you delete it. I'm going to paste it up to the memory card. There it is. So the modified image is now on my memory card. If I'm not mistaken, we eject it. Yes, we do. So I always safely eject my memory cards because if for some reason there was some writing work to be done in the write cache for that drive, safely ejecting it uh, forces it to finish the job, any job it was waiting for. So now I'm sure that the memory card is not corrupted. And you might have seen people have uh, posting about the images and everything being all garbled in the Analog 3D OS. And people are saying it's either from a bad memory card or corrupted memory card. And the solution is usually to like format and put the files back on the memory card. Anyway, let's pop this memory card back into the console and see our results. Okay, now I've inserted the memory card back into the Analog 3D and booted it up. And here it is. I'm going to insert my summer 64 cartridge and what i expect is that it'll say unknown cartridge but it's going to have a label image now and there it is so if you guys have any questions about this process it's fairly easy especially if you just download the labels.db image but otherwise uh yeah leave a comment and i will help if i can thank you very much for watching see you next time